And hello, 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 and welcome back for some more Crusader Kings 2 Finish Mega Campaign fun. As we continue to expand and make the Kingdom of Suomi bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and it's actually expanded a little bit since last time as well. Um, Shuvas was taken, as well as Galich Mursky, if I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm also helping out my random ally over here, finish off this wall, which is nearly done. Fantastic. Makes me very happy. Don't have long left in the game now. Like 19 odd years. Hopefully I have this game done like the next day or two. Depending how fast I play. Yep, that wall's done. Call down the Holy Order, because they lost a lot of casualties fighting over there. Um, can we actually, uh, oh, I'm wondering, can I actually, oh, I can do that. I can switch to gravel, gravel kind, gavelkins, sorry. Um, so I'm going to change it to gavelkins. The titles of the ruler are divided among his children, blah, 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 uh, yep. Okay, that's now changed, so now my firstborn son will get that territory. Good. Good indeed. See, he's going to inherit now. My vassals may crack the shits a little bit. Wouldn't be surprised. He's a bit wounded, apparently, from previous battles, but he'll be alright. Um, I might educate him myself, if I can. So, finally, Gavelkin, that's better. Um, that's what I wanted. Call down all the troops. All of the troops. Um, yeah. Now, I'm probably going to go to War of Trondalag and Ugra and Bello, Bello Ozero soon. Oh, Nordaland's got independent. How'd they manage that? Which house are they? Alf Munso. They're all Alf Munso around there. Might bring up the, um... Yeah, I know that. He's, he, oh, he's considered the cruel, is he? Oh, a bit naughty. The Dynasty Tree, that's all Alf Munso. Oh, Munso over there. Still a bit of Sukor around. Ooh, have my vassals absolutely cracked the shits at that decision? I think a few of them have. Elective succession? No. No chance. I will not have elective succession again in my realm. I think I'm gonna cop a rebellion from those guys. Don't think that's really avoidable. I'm gonna send them some money. I've got, I've got a bit to spare. So I got that done, finally. Took a while. Let me think, if I attack Mermon, no, not Mermon. I don't know. Who's actually allied with Ugra, or Ugra, however you want to pronounce their name? They're allied with no one, so they are there to be attacked. Ugra invasion of Perm. Hmm, how many. Well, I think they're there to be attacked, so we are honor bound to call up our troops and go invade. He's 72? Jeez, he's looking pretty good for 72. That gets a screenshot. Um. So we're going to attack them, first of all. The only problem is we'll probably cop a bit of attrition during winter. So... I might wait until next year, until about April. It'll probably give me time to get these factions under wrap as well, if I can. They're really pushing for elective succession. I really don't want elective succession back in my realm. Because I found it rather irritating to play with. Master of the Bow. High Chief of Yugra. What does he think of me? He's alright. He thinks I'm alright. I can call up a fair few troops as well. Vassals seem to like me for the most part. How much does that drop by like, because it's winter? See, that will drop a fair bit. As soon as winter hits, it'll just drop right away. I want that territory, though. Or do I go for Trondalag? I might even go for Trondalag, I think. Who's actually allied with Trondalag at the moment? They're allied with um, the Kagan of the Golden Horde, but I can't see the Kagan anywhere. It's just a titular title, he doesn't actually hold anything. I'm um, sorry, go back to Trondalag. I should be able to take Trondalag, it might be a bit tricky, but I'll get it. Oh, he's part of the same dynasty, is he? Okay. Well, they're gonna holy war that territory, I think. That's the easiest course of action. Gonna wait. Oh, are you hit Trondalag, Yugra, or. Who's Belazoro allied with? Here comes the yearly, here comes the yearly autosave. Oh, 
Um, what's going on here? He's got 3,500. I'll be able to deal with him quite easily. He's allied with some people that could potentially hurt me a bit, though. He's allied with the Sultan of Cyprus. There's a Sultan of Cyprus? Where, where is he at? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Gr I'm pretty sure the Byzantines hold Cyprus. Uh, sorry, the King of Greece does. The King of Greece is Anglo-Saxon. No, he's Lombard. He's not Anglo-Saxon. Apologies. Byzantine Empire is still somehow going in Illyria or Dalmatia. Uh, not another Sunni uprising. Where are they this time? Hopefully, they cop some casualties in the in the in the process. Keep copping those things. Come on, casualties. It's the middle of winter. The middle of winter. What I might do is, I might wait and then I'll declare war in Ugra and take that. Because if I take this territory, then bulks up my territory, makes it look much better. Um, are they about to win their little war over there? I think they might be. Oh, it's only 34, so it's not massively high. What I'm going to do is I'm going to holy war this territory. Is that the whole duchy, or is that only part of it? No, no, it's the whole duchy, okay. And yes, I don't really use hotkeys when I'm playing this game, because I find them to be... I think hotkeys are good, but I just don't care if you use a hotkey or not. If anyone's curious. They can be rather convenient, though. Um, yep, call up all troops, even call up holy order. Actually, I'm, I might avoid calling up the Holy Order in this one. Um, call all troops up over here. Oh, get him to move there. Call up these guys over here. We're going to use these guys to help fight these rebels. Um, if these guys can get away, which they probably won't. 12th of April, 7th of March. They're easily getting caught, in other words. Bring these soldiers over here as well as well with these warriors. Can I call him vassals? Can I? Well, mate... Actually, will he join a holy war against someone of his own faith? Kinda curious. Not sure if he will. They're gonna catch these soldiers over here, though. I highly doubt they won't get caught. They're fighting pretty well, though. Wow, they're fighting a lot better than I thought they would. Throw in more troops, if that's the case. Sorry if I press pause a lot while I'm doing this. Um, wow, they're actually going to win that battle. I'm pretty shocked. I thought they would lose that for sure. Wow. Okay, I'll take that. Get them to sit there so they can recoup their recoup from their losses. Um, send them over there. Actually, the province is bordering. It's probably easier. Now, they caught up any um, people into the war? Has anyone joined them? This will give me a lot of territory if I take it. Like, large swathes of territory. I do... I know people hate it when people paint the map in Paradox Games, but to be purely honest, I actually don't mind painting the map on occasion. Um... Oh, they're not fighting as well this time. Or are they? Well, maybe they are. Okay, they're going to win again. That didn't push up the war score at all before. <coughs> Which I find a little surprising. I don't know how it didn't, but it didn't. Send them over there. Um, send these blokes over here as well. Oh, they might have met their match in this battle. Finally. Well, they might win again. Jeez, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Wow, they're going to win again. I have no idea. I've won two battles there, but it hasn't pushed up the war score at all, which I don't really know how that works, but... What does that deal with it, I guess? Um, yeah, keep moving them. Don't stop. Don't stop to you get enough. Go straight for their capital. Move as many soldiers in there as possible, for the moment. Move these blokes. Um, these blokes can go over here. And these boats can go over here. Yep, keep moving them. So basically in the end, the Mongols invading was probably the best thing that could have happened to me in this game. Because they gave me a crap ton of troops in the process. 
Sorry, not a crap. <laughs> Help me get a crap ton of territory. Apologies if anybody's offended by the term crap and ton. We're about to go here into Yugra. Wait a second, what am I sieging pajama for? There's no point in that. Just send them all over there. I should really save the Austrian accent, I reckon, for when I, if I ever play a Victoria 2 or an EU4 Austria game. That could be pretty entertaining. I reckon that would work. I reckon people would love it. Or if they didn't, oh well. Combine these troops together. We need better generals, so we're going to appoint him. Appoint him in the flank and just attack them. We've got heart, we've got more morale. For even amount of forces, we should have them, for the most part. Starting the siege here. So basically, I have another 18 years to basically holy war as much territory as possible. Once you get there, I want you to move over there. You're going to take a bit of time though, aren't you? You will. Oh, did I find some battle? Did I? Didn't even realize. How's the battle going? His left, his left and right flanks are about to collapse completely. Yep, there goes the right, there goes the center, there goes the left. Oh, the center's still just holding. Keep following them. Don't stop. Um, the garrison's relatively big. Not gigantic, but relatively big. Um, I want to move these forces over here. Actually, no, I'll keep sending them over there. Yeah, keep following them. And get them defeated. Actually, if I can get a white piece out of them, I'll take the white piece. No, they won't. They won't take it. Give them patronage. Patronage. I've had a few rebels over here in this territory that I've got now. I've noticed. There's a new high chief of Modva. Seems to like me a fair bit as well. Thinks I'm all right. Are they getting there yet? No, not quite. Oh, actually, no, a few, a few are about to get there. It's going to be a gradual siege for most of these places. Where's all those other troops, anyway? We won another battle against them. I'll give them one more chance for a white piece. Actually, I don't give them a chance for a... Uh, no, I'll give them a chance for a white piece, because I'm nice. We've already got a fair bit of prestige, anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, continue the siege over there. Wait a second, did that guy end up joining my war? No, he didn't. He knocked me back. Well, you, you're you the one who decided to rebel. It's your own bloody fault. It's like, oh, I hate you. You're a dog. I'm like, come on, man. Be a bit nicer than that. Um, I make up, I make up a bit of attrition when the winter hits. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to wait and see. If I start to... Actually, ugh, I might wait for the moment. Let's continue the siege like that. Um, how's the, how's the thing war going and timing going or timing? Is timing or is it timing? I don't I don't know. Oh, Uga has ter Oh, did Uga win that war? Well, at least I'll be left with some provinces. Lol. Um, December now. What's the attrition going down to? 7,000. It might get lower. Wouldn't be surprised if it does get lower. You have to wait and see when it hits January. When the winter really hits. G January and February. The siege is going a bit slower there. It's going a bit faster there. Though I think they've been sieging longer. To be fair. Yep. Ooh, wow, they, they're they copying attrition at only 3,000 troops. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Um... That's going at 2.3. God, that, that's pretty low. That's at 3, so I'm gonna send in... I'm gonna keep them there, and I'm gonna send a few more troops over there. 619, to be in fact, and send these blokes over here. That's at, um... 2.3, so I'm gonna have to send out most of the troops. They'll get there on 25th of Feb, so they're definitely going to cop attrition. Is it quicker over that way? 24th of Feb. So it's not really quicker either way, to be honest. Both ways have their advantages and disadvantages. So we're just going to send them and see what casualties we cop in the process, because we can't really do much about it. Pure honesty. Actually, how much? How big is the garrison? No, we need to leave some troops there regardless. So we're going to keep them regardless, there. Oh, did I just lose a few casualties over there? I think I did. Not good. This is annoying when you try to campaign in the far north. You just cop casualties everywhere. I should probably move some of these guys out, so I'm going to move a few of them out. Oh, they can't continue the siege, that. Bugger. Um, I'll minimize that slightly. So the siege can continue through the winter. How many more troops can we get inside there? Not many. Well, once the winter stops... Yep, they just copped a few casualties. They'll, they'll definitely cop casualties doing this. It's just a matter of how many. Ugh. I should have moved them out long ago. Oh, wow! They just copped even more casualties then, because of the winter attrition. Ah. I'll never learn. I'll never learn with attrition in this game. I always have to go campaigning through areas where it's not smart to do so. Wow, they've copped so many casualties from the winter. A lot. They lost a shitload. Once it hits April, I can move again as well. No, you stay there. You don't move. Don't move at all. Oh, the soldiers who moved out from there copped a shit ton. Mind my language? But they did. I've lost at least 4,000 casualties, at least 4,000 casualties purely because of the winter. Ugh, that's what I get for campaigning at this time and again. Should have sent in smaller sized forces and just scattered troops around so when the winter breaks, I can just send them back in. I always think the attrition's a little bit too harsh in that area, not massively. I don't mind that it's harsh there. At all. By any stretch. I do like a challenge in this game. Part of the reason why I play Paris games. Has the attrition gone down yet? Oh, not yet. Jeez, this is taking forever. And those soldiers are taking donkey's years to get out as well. You know what? I might as well just keep these guys there. Because they're already there anyway. I'm going to start sending troops back through, because it will take them time to get there regardless. Ugh, I took too long then with this siege. Cop shocking casualties in the process as well. Um, how many troops did I lose from winter? Oh, I lost at least four or five thousand. That's a lot. And now it opens up right up again. Um, oh, there's some troops over here, are there? Combine some forces together if that's the case. You know what? Call up the Holy Warriors and send them through to attack these guys. Oh, I lost all that siege progress as well. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh well. Open council positions. Steward, you'll do. Didn't really look at you, just seemed like a suitable candidate. Come on, get there already. The quicker you get there, the quicker we can siege these places. The benefits of campaigning, eh? 
in the far north. You start taking some of these places because you basically had to start from scratch with the sieges. Ugh, not fun at all. Anyway, though, that will probably do for the moment, I guess, in this particular recording. Oh, pre uh. My dogs at the moment, encouraging them. But anyway, if you enjoyed yourselves, please click like and subscribe, and as always, bye bye.